Hey guys, Max here from Slurve.com. Uh, as usual, to guide you through all the GPP plays for uh, May 6th slate. Uh, yesterday was pretty brutal. I had 100% DeGrom everywhere. Well, except FanDuel on, Dra on DraftKings. Um, but, you know, baseball's a high-variance game. So on nights like uh, last night will happen occasionally. So that brings me to my GPP strategy note. <clears throat> In my video yesterday, I uh, talked about how important bankroll management is and uh, baseball gods were inclined to prove me right with an unpredictable night of baseball uh, last night was the perfect example of uh, why we don't want to put a big percentage of our bankroll in play on any given night um, pitchers who are locks will fail occasionally and uh, batters who are locks will fail even more so than pitchers so uh, just remember to only put down what you're comfortable with each night um Let's get to the pitching for today's slate. So today's pitching is the opposite of yesterday. We have a ton of good options, which means we have to uh, hone in on our favorite targets uh, throughout the day by trying to estimate <coughs> ownership. <coughs> I'm going to talk about uh, a bunch of options, but uh, remember uh, to, to, to log into uh, Slurve.com chat today where we're going to really uh, hone in on a nice uh, core for, ours, for, uh, for tonight. Uh, my favorite pick today so far is uh, Mad Bar Madison Bumgarner. I think he uh, presents the highest upside uh, out of any pitcher on tonight's slate. Um, I th I don't think he will be too highly owned due to the fact that Rockies went absolutely crazy yesterday by scoring, I think, 17 runs. Um, however, uh, I think he uh, has a really good uh, matchup against the Rockies today. They have a bunch of Lefty power bats who uh, he should be able to dominate. And, I mean, he's good at guys from both sides of the plate. Again, he gets his nice pitchers, home park. And uh, he's had a really good track record against the Rockies in his career. Um, next guy I want to talk about is uh, Noah, Noah Syndergaard uh, Thor. Uh, I think he's going to be the highest on pitcher today. I don't think uh, DeGrom failing yesterday is going to deter anybody. Um... I am going to see how, if I want to fade him completely or if I just want to limit my exposure today. Uh, I do have, I do think he has nice upside against the Padres, but uh, I'm not sure he's uh, he's worth it at like 50% ownership. Uh, my other favorite GPP play today is the polarizing figure of Chris Archer. He's shown flashes of uh, uh, upside this year, but he's been mostly just okay, kind of coasting along. Uh, his price is down. He's facing the Angels in what I feel like is a, a good lineup to target with right-handed pitchers who have strikeout upside. Um, I think he's going to have reduced ownership due to the fact that there's a good show, bunch of guys around his price range who I think are going to be more popular. Uh, the guy I'm going to talk about next is the one that I think is going to be the most popular guy in the uh, low 10K, high 9K range for uh, most players today, <clears throat> and that's Zach Greinke. He has a great matchup against Atlanta on the road. Uh, he struck out a bunch of guys finally in his <coughs> excuse me in his last start. So I think uh, I think today he's going to be highly owned, and I think I'm going to suggest a fade in GPPs due to ownership. Again, let's hold in on uh, ownership during the day and uh, see uh, see where uh, the touts are, uh, are, are uh, going to target people towards. The next guy I want to talk about is Y Yin Chan. At, uh, he's at 9K on DraftKings. And uh, yes, I said 9K. Uh, Phillies are awful against left-handed batters. I think they're second worst uh, in Woba. Uh, and... For whatever reason, they sat Michael Franco yesterday, so maybe he's injured and he's their best guy that uh, hits lefties. So without him, I think uh, White White Chet has a ton of upside in his whole park, and hopefully, the price tag is going to scare people. Excuse me, off of him. A couple of more guys I want to touch on are uh, Rich Hill should not be popular in Baltimore, but has elite K upside, so I like to target him. What I know he's going to have low ownership. Uh, Drew Pomeranz, I think, is going to be popular in his price tag. 
Uh, he's facing the Mets, who most of their good bats are from the left side. So uh, they're nice to target with uh, power lefties. Uh, and he's at home also. Uh, Tashon Walker uh, disappointed everyone. So hopefully people will be off of him. But I think he carries a ton of upside against Houston today, who uh, like to strike out against righties. Uh, Velasquez is the last guy I want to talk about. Uh, he's facing Miami offense today in their big ballpark. Again, he always has a ton of K upside. So uh, I think he, but if he's overlooked here also, he's a good place to, uh, to go. So basically, like I've been saying throughout, uh, let's just see uh, what the ownership is going to look like throughout the day. We're going to let you know in the slur of chat who we think uh, our favorite plays are. So I'll uh, hop in and uh, we're going to get that core of the pitching. For today, ironed out. So this, of course, doesn't leave us with a lot of offense to target today. Uh, but I think there are some some really good spots that we can hone in on. Uh, Tyler Cravey's making a spot start for the Brewers today uh, in Great American Ballpark against the Reds. We've been targeting them against uh, the Brewers pitching again the last couple days. So there is I don't think, think there is any reason to stop today. Uh, I think they're my favorite stack today so far. Uh, I like the power lefties of Votto and Bruce especially, but don't be afraid to go after uh, the righty bats uh, with Phillips and uh, and uh, Suarez uh, and Cozart also. Uh, athletics against Ubaldo are another spot I like. Uh, they have a lot of good lefty power bats. They get a nice park bump by going to Camden Yards. So here you uh, can target both uh, Coughlin, Lowry, and, uh, and uh, Redick uh, for uh, some nice upside. Tigers against Cole Hamels is where I want to go next. I think the matchup is also for the Tigers, right? He's at the top of the order. Hopefully uh, the name value of Hamels scares off some people, but I think uh, the Tigers, right? He's in a perfect spot today here. So uh, let's target the guys uh, like Kinsler, uh, Biggie, all, the, all those guys. Sorry, guys. My allergies are killing me tonight. So, um, I am uh, all stuffed up, as you can tell. So, let's see who else. Uh, Twins, White Sox. This is my only uh, game stack of the day that I would recommend. I think both pitch pitchers are susceptible to giving up runs, and we can target both offenses in this game. Uh, Matt Latos has been pitching way over his head. His uh, Sierra is way higher than his actual ERA. So he's bound to regress. Uh, we can target Santana, Dozier, Sano, Arcia Park. They're all good, good uh, speed power combinations in that in that lineup. Uh, on the other side, you have the White Sox against Rick and Alaska. So I think they have the potential to score a bunch of runs as well. Uh, last but not least, let's talk about the Mariners. I think they have a, they have good upside in Houston's home park against the guy that can't strike anybody out and Doug Fister. Uh, Cano has been murdering the ball lately, especially against righties. So he's my favorite play probably across the board. Um, uh, he's also uh, has some nice uh, nice teammates in this order. They can also hit righties well. And Seager, Aoki, Seth Smith, Lind. Um, also, don't forget about, about Leonis Martin. And he's, I know he's batting ninth. But the guy has either a home run or a stolen base. In like every game, so uh, you can do like a nice nine to four stack uh, of uh, the Mariners today. So that's all for me today, guys. Uh, again, if I don't win all the money, I hope one of you guys does come chat with us in uh, Slurve MLB chat. We've been getting a lot more people in there lately, so uh, we're, we have really good discussions going on every day where uh, we can uh, iron out all the ownership details that are so important for GPPs. And really hone in on a nice core of players. Have a good weekend. And uh, I will see you. Well, you will see me on Monday. Max is out.